Boy Promotions is in a tough, tough situation. Now, November the 7th, 2015 is the date for the first episode. Well, we don't know yet if it's going to be multiple episodes, but I do know that HBO 24-7, Kodo vs. Canelo, premieres November the 7th, 2015 on HBO. Now, will there be a... Um, Multi, will it be a multi-episode series? We do not know yet. As time goes on, I will be able to let you know. I am T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live, and I cover every single major fight live. Golden Boy Promotions needs Sul Canelo Alvarez to defeat Miguel Cotto. Golden Boy Promotions' top fighters right now are Sul Canelo Alvarez, David Lemieux, you can still say somewhat Lucas Matisse, even though Lucas Matisse just was defeated by Victor Postol, Mauricio Herrera, and a few other uh, fighters. But they have a, um, a nice variety of up-and-coming talent, Hispanic prospects. But when it comes to what Golden Boy needs in 2015, with Lucas Matisse losing, with David Lemieux being predicted to lose, and then if Canelo were to lose to Miguel Cotto, Golden Boy Promotions would be... what would. You know, you know, it, it's it's like this. Canelo is the poster boy of Golden Boy Promotions. Canelo Alvarez is the future pay-per-view star of Golden Boy Promotions. He is the one that's supposed to carry the banner of Golden Boy Promotions. But with the win against Iris Lindy Laura, I felt that he won the fight against Iris Lindy Laura. With a win over James Kirkland, with the loss to Floyd Mayweather, with a with, with a nice solid close win over Austin Trout. Canelo is still doesn't have the full faith of the fans to believe that he's the next future best thing. And he's good. He's good even though he can be flat-footed, even though his punch variety um, can be lacking, even though his punch output can be low, even though he does not really have a jab. He is good. There's a lot of fighters out there that he can beat. And we know one thing about Sul Canelo Alvarez is that he will fight anyone. He fought Iris Lindy Laura, even though Oscar De La Hoya didn't want the fight Iris Lindy Laura. Richard Schaefer had made that fight. Iris Lindy Laura was calling him out, calling him out. And, and, and Canelo went to Golden Boy, Richard Schaefer at the time himself, and said, I want Iris Lindy Laura. Make the Iris Lindy Laura fight. In a fight where many fans felt he was going to lose. And even if you felt that Iris Lindy Laura won the fight, Canelo still put up a better performance than you actually thought he was. So, what I'm looking for out of HBO 24-7 is I'm hoping that, well, it's supposed to be a full episode of HBO 24-7. It's not going to be that road to crap that's only about 15 minutes or so long. I want to see the life of Miguel Cotto. And we know Miguel Cotto is a eccentric character. We know that he'll wear some tight spandex. Ah, uh, just I don't want to. I don't want to. We we know that he likes to involve himself in some extracurricular activities. You know, with um with um his male friend Brian Perez. I have I have to talk about it. 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 You know, and it's not very pleasing to the eye. But Miguel Cotto inside the ring, whether you call him a diva outside of the ring, is very good. Now I have Miguel Cotto. Defeating Sewell Canelo Alvarez. For some reason, I have Miguel Cotto winning off of boxing ability and just ring ring um ring IQ. Canelo fires and shoots in bursts. Canelo is the type of fighter he'll throw three punches, take some time off. But the thing I'm concerned about when it comes to Miguel Cotto, even though I have Miguel Cotto winning, I'm concerned about the 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 scar tissue, how how Miguel Cotto's face is going to hold up going against a heavy puncher like Sewell Canelo Alvarez. And face it, he hasn't fought a heavy puncher since he fought Antonio Margarito. Because remember, he fought Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is not known to be a guy that's going to knock you out. He fought Austin Trout. Austin Trout beat him. He fought um, um, Delvin Rodriguez. You know, not a big puncher. He fought, um, who else? Sergio Martinez, who was damaged goods, you know, with the whole knee issue. And then he fought, um, most recently, Daniel Gill. So Canelo will be the biggest puncher he's fought since um, Antonio Margarito. And we know what was going on with the Antonio Margarito situation with the plaster in Paris. I'm just thinking to myself, can Canelo 
bash in the face of Miguel Cotto. Can Cotto's face and that scar tissue hold up to that straight right of Miguel coming of uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez? Now, one thing about Saul Canelo Alvarez, if we have to say, is that he has heart. He's the type of fighter he will keep coming for you, even if he's losing or not. But the boxing ability of Miguel Cotto, the boxing ability of Miguel Cotto, in my opinion, is going to overtake Saul Canelo Alvarez. Now, if you don't know, the winner of this fight is supposed to be fighting the winner of Gennady Golovkin versus David Lemieux. Now, I would love to see a Miguel Cotto versus a Gennady Golovkin, but, but if Miguel Cotto wins, for some reason, I don't feel that he would fight Golovkin. And, but then again, it all depends on how he wins against Canelo. Let's say, for example, if he knocks out Canelo, then you know that would maybe give him extra confidence to feel like, oh, I can hang in there with a guy like David Lemieux. By the way, Catch weight 155 pounds is for the WBC 160 pound title of the world. Canelo is officially fighting for a WBC for a 160 pound title, and I would love to see Cotto versus Golovkin. Even though Golovkin's five foot eleven, Cotto is about five foot six, five foot seven. We know Cotto will be very small coming into the ring. Remember when he fought Daniel Gill, he weighed in under 154 pound pounds, a whole division under which. Um, a whole division under a division in which he holds a title in, you know, so going up against Golovkin, I'm sure that he would probably try to want a catch weight, but Golovkin's team is saying like, no, you know, we're not mandatory and we're not fighting at no catch weight is going to be at 160 or nothing. So I think that if Cotto beats Canelo, it would be a good measuring stick to see how he would do against a Golovkin. Now, of course, fans will love like, see, these are, these are, these, these are super fights right there that can be made. In fights that fans would want to see because, of course, fans would want to see win or lose if Canelo loses a Canelo versus a Golovkin, you know, and that's a fight right there where I actually would give. OK, put it this way. I got Golovkin beating Cotto, but I got Canelo beating Golovkin. I know it may sound crazy. I know it may sound crazy, but remember, styles make fights and it all depends. Shout out to Styles Make Fights. Go to StylesMakeFights.com. Get you a nice hoodie. I actually not wearing my hoodie today because it's in the dryer. But um, sporting apparel, stylesmakefights.com. So, like I said, I, I'm 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 looking for an HBO 24/7 where you know it hypes me up for the fight. I'm looking for an HBO 24/7 where you know I want to see Canelo. You know. You know, going hard in the gym. I want to see Cano I want to see Cotto just as poised and calm as ever, just like Canelo was just another opponent. I want to see the inside life. But then again, I don't really want to see too much of the inside life of Miguel Cotto because you never know what you're going to find in there. But I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. Follow me on Facebook at T Street Controversy. Follow me on Instagram at T Street Controversy. T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live.